If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about my expectations for the weekend's upcoming album, Dawn FM. This was only announced this week. It has been announced very spontaneously, only in the same week of dropping. Uh, he, you know, explained in an Instagram post that it was more important to him to drop the album and enjoy it together with the fans. And it was to have another big rollout like he did for After Hours, which was the sequel to this album now. I've already went into, you know, detail about the cover art and about the content of the trailer we already got in my past two videos I've made on this album, so go check them out if you haven't yet. But today I wanted to specifically focus on what I expect from this, so this will be very personal, very subjective, and of course I always encourage you to post your opinion, your theories, and your expectations for this thing in the comments down below that that way we can all get hyped together for this thing dropping on Friday, January 7th. So, you know, mark your calendars. Anyway, let's start. Dawn FM is uh, the album that we've all been waiting for, the sequel to After Hours, my favorite album of 2020. And from the material that we got so far for this album, there are already a lot of things that we can take from this. For example, we got that trailer, which is probably the most important piece of information here. Now, After Hours was an album that I absolutely loved also because of the way that it was sequenced. The individual tracks, how they were ordered in the track list, how they all played into each other, how we could see some kind of narrative behind them, that was what I really enjoyed about After Hours. And I always respect and love when artists do that, when they have some deeper connecting meaning behind all the individual tracks, which then make makes it an album and not just a playlist of individual songs, which we see a lot of artists do nowadays. You know, most of the new hip hop stuff dropping is basically just playlists or mixtapes, but not real albums anymore. And this art of album sequencing has really gotten lost over the years. And I'm glad that people like The Weeknd are here to bring this back to the mainstream like they already did with After Hours, even if people don't care about it, even if people only care about, you know, the, the, the surface level songs, at least for the people that actually want to dive deep into the record, he got something for them. And that's what I always loved about After Hours. And it looks like we're really getting this again on um, on Dawn of M and even further so. We see some kind of connection to the previous album, After Hours. Obviously, already in the title, After Hours is the time uh, late at night and then Dawn or Dawn of M in this way. He's kind of, you know, connecting this to this radio station with Jim Carrey, which is going to be very interesting to see how that's in fused in there but the dawn is then the time after that when the day starts again so we can already see that there's some kind of connection here and he's already using this concept with the dawn for example he dropped the album cover at dawn and then the track list is going to drop at dawn so always this this very uh you know fixed thing on the dawn so definitely plays a huge part in the concept. Also in this new trailer, we saw uh, this one screen where it says a new Sonic universe from the mind of the weekend. And y'all know that I absolutely love when artists, you know, build universes, build their own characters, build their own just, you know, worlds for the fans to be in there, kind of disconnect from reality and just live in this Sonic universe. And that is already what he did with After Hours. I remember one specific time, not the first time I listened to After Hours, it was quite some time afterwards but I listened to after hours on a car ride and I just had my headphones on my eyes closed and I was completely absorbed into that universe and I really hope that I can get the same out of Dawn FM that honestly that is my personal that that's my wish for this album to just be able to put on headphones disconnect from reality and just you know be let into this universe that uh, the weekend has created for us which that, that would be amazing and it really looks like that we for example seen you know he's playing a character again in after hours it was this dude who was trying to hide all his scars with a mask or with some pl plastic surgery and in here we can see a very old version of this character he's playing that's also the cover art where the cover art plays into that that I went over in my um, other video where you know he's this very old version of himself I already said that my theory on this is that in the after hours he's sinning and he's realizing that he's done all this you know bad stuff and all the sins he's committed and then um, in Dawn FM when the day awakens 
Titans again. He is he kind of sees himself as this old man who is now regretting all the stuff he's done and actually wanting to make it right and you know make a positive change. That is my concept on this. Maybe we'll get another installment in this series. Maybe we'll get some more you know times of the day albums after this. But I do like that it's connected to a previous album and that we are again diving into this universe that he's creating. And that is my number one expectation. As I just said, that I want him to you know further detail this universe, detail this world that he has already created with After Hours, but this time in more depth, in more detail, because what we've seen on After Hours, we can already see that The Weeknd is a person that can really do this. And also looking at, for example, um, the, the, the features that we already got. We got two features confirmed so far, which is Lil Wayne and Tyler the Creator. And when you think of those names just as normal features, you know, a lot of artists have like a Lil Wayne feature nowadays, it's just like a normal verse, 16 bars on like a second verse or something. But when The Weeknd has a Lil Wayne feature, and also a Tyler the Creator feature, a Tyler feature is very special, um, then we already know that if only two people are featured on here, he's going to use those features in a very creative way that really, you know, fuses them into the song. I remember, for example, even though that album was trash, but Khaled Khaled, DJ Khaled, Lil Wayne performed incredible on that opening track on, I think it's called Grateful or something. Um, but the way that Khaled used the Lil Wayne feature, not just as another verse, but as something that actually adds character and adds personality to the track, was something that I was really pleasantly surprised by. And when we look at an artist like The Weeknd, I think that he's going to use use those features in a very creative way and I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing how he incorporates those and I hope that maybe they're rapping from a different person's perspective maybe they bring something to the table that we weren't expecting again adding to this universe that he's creating and letting us into through his music and you know that is something that I'm very much looking forward to um, the weekend Don FM dropping this Friday my expectations for this you know as I just laid out I hope that he really sticks to this 80s style he we, we, we do kind of seem to be getting that again he for example posted this post for a listening party and this is in a very 80s style again so he's definitely sticking to that synthesizer sound to that 80s style that he was already um, you know doing on after hours so that's something I expect uh, but that is pretty clear that we're getting that which I absolutely love as well so yeah my expectations only my theories of course is very subjective as I said everybody has their own you know expectations theories opinions thoughts on this and that's what it makes it so interesting because this was only mine now I want to hear yours what are your expectations for this thing how long have you been waiting for this were you expecting this thing to just drop this spontaneously how do you think he's going to use those features Lil Wayne and Tyler how do you think he will be able to further expand and create this universe and world that we all fell in love with on after hours all of that let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.